Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys a pretty interesting game. It is a, it is a happy ending game, okay? So, you know, you, you, you can watch it to the end. You can watch the end. But it is one that was really frustrating all the way through. So a little bit of context here just to kind of enlighten you guys if you're not too up to date with how mechs work. Um, so the best mech build is pretty pretty simply uh, you get really big magnetic cards and you put them on like the cleave guy and then you do that through the magnetic system while you have the beatboxer so it copies and doubles the effect or if you have two beatboxers triples the effect and that's how you get really good builds all right now the way that you make that even better is the first few magnetic cards, you just play them on the board, you just dunk them. And the reason you do that is because you let them grow, you build them up, you throw your stat buffs at them, and then when you're Tavern 6, you try to triple them, so you get this like enormous magnetic card, and then you instantaneously are playing a really OP build. That's how it's done, that's how I do it, that's how successful builds are generally put together. Now. One mechanic change that some people are confused on, I had a bit of a discussion after this video, so it's not part of the video in its entirety, but some people in chat mentioned it's like, um, well, you know, there's just, you know, possibly not enough of these in the card pool. So they changed the way that this worked. Um, it was a while ago too, it was like several months ago. It used to be that if you if you bought a mech card that had magnetic from the tavern, you magnetize it to your mech, it used to be that it was still taken out of the card pool. It was kind of like an amount, it was like a combination of cards, and it, and it locked both the card that it was placed on and the magnetic card from the card pool. So for example, with like the Divine Shield Taunt being Tavern 4, I think that means there's like 12 copies of them. If you did that 12 times, no one else could get one. Well, they, they changed it, again, many patches ago, many months ago, they changed it to where if you magnetize a mech, it actually puts it back into the shop. It puts it back into the card pool. So um, you, you can never run out of magnetic mechs anymore, and that's pretty interesting. But also, the strategy, the strategy that I mentioned at the start of this video, um, it's a pretty consistent one, because even if other people are playing mechs, it's very unlikely that they have too many copies of that same magnetic card you're trying to triple, on their board plainly as you might. And if they do, it's also probably a low tavern tier one, so there's many different copies. Now with that said, enjoy the game. But in a vacuum, that is most definitely a worse play. Like Banana Slamma so is the, the worst is. version of Beast to play or play against, in my opinion. And yeah, it's my opinion. But that's that's my opinion, you know? That's it. Second worst was Leapfrog, right? And the third worst was probably, like, the Hyena stacking at the very start of Battlegrounds. This whole gameplay where it's, like, snipe the card on the end, it was, like, tolerable before spells. But now with spells, you can make that card have, like, Stealth Reborn Divine Shield. And then it's just, like, more infuriating to play against it and play as it, because you can still get sniped, you just have to get unlucky. Like, I, I feel like if, if Banana Slamma can get Divine Shield and Reborn, there should be a spell that just gives you protection from beasts. And if they only have beasts, they just automatically lose. Like, that sounds really stupid, but think about it. The Quillbore build with Bristlebok that, get, that gets killed by a single card was too good, so it got deleted from the game. One card counters, and it was the worst build in the game, and it got nerfed. It's gone. You can't play that build anymore. It's Avenge 2. You can't play that build anymore. Quillbore endgame is gone. Like, if, if they're gonna do stuff like that, I really don't see why they just don't make a Protection from Beasts card. Like, it, it, that's that's the equivalent of it. I mean, it's I know it sounds stupid, but... But that's what we're that's what we're dealing with, right? Protection from beasts. That's what I'm asking for. I want to buy a singular card that completely annihilates any beast player. And then after that, when beast becomes the worst build, I want them to nerf it again. Yeah, Bristlebok is unplayable. It's a, it, it was the the card defining late game Quillbore to just one of the worst Quillbore. Time to hustle. Skull 
Maybe I should have played it. Uh, well, the real counter to that build is the thing, the the Divine Shield that removes Taunt. And you can still beat that if you just have, like, astronomical uh, Quill Gems and they don't get sniped. You can still kind of beat it. But my solution of giving a spell protection from beasts to a card permanently is pretty much that. Like, a beast build could make itself worse to play a non-beast to have a chance against the counter. It's 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 very very similar if you if you really think about it. Guys, they nerfed Reef Riffer and buffed beasts. That's all you need to know. Okay, that's all that's all you need to know. Reef Riffer has been nerfed. This card was too good. Oh no. The game is broke. Reef Riffer. Two health. Oh please. Save me from the Reef Riffering. One, two, insane. Reefer madness, yeah, right? Finally, the Riffer meta is over. Riffer. Oh my god, they're gonna nerf it again, guys. It's gonna be a one attack, zero health next patch. Yeah, if you don't buff it in the tavern, it just dies when you play it and you lose the card. That's the only way to keep Nagas in check, guys. That's the only way. <laughs> you agree with what I said? Of course. It's just the truth. Nah, I'm just kidding. They shouldn't nerf any cards. But what they should do is buff beasts more. Yeah. Banana Slamma should double the stats of your beasts, even when it's in your hand. It's not like it can be killed on the board anyway, so what's the difference? That's definitely the battlegrounds I want to play. Slamma's tier 5. When they made Slamma tier 5, they added Goldrin to the game. Goldrun is ridiculous. I'm against the gu yeah, he's free. That was a free round, I guess. Goldrun cleave builds. Cleave builds are pretty interesting. Play your best out there. Wait, I thought I leveled. Oh, I leveled a five. I thought I leveled a six for a second. Uh, yeah, you know what? I am gonna take those.
So, what's the skull? Yeah, that is a pretty good card. Wait till you see what's in the trophy case. It's also not bad though. That is also not bad. That is also not bad. There's no shot I sell three cards, is there? Nah, there's no shot I sell three cards. I think we pass that and try to play like a more conventional type of build. Nixia is another one of those heroes I particularly have a distaste for. Play the ghost again. That'd be sick. How's the game go? That one plays well. Make sure. I mean, that guy is losing, so didn't need to play that. Not bad. We do have the ghost also, which is great. Bow Reaper, I like it. Okay. Fresh of its type. The light has left this place. Really don't have to play anything here because it's the ghost. We have to take full advantage of this freebie. I'm rooting for you. Ah, there's just no reason to do that. Uh, maybe it's not too late for that one. Okay. You gotta trade him out now and then. Everyone's rooting for that one. Playing Max is the problem. It's a bit of a tough call to play all of these. Yeah, I think the I think the compromise play is gonna be this. And it's not bad. We do get a few buffs here. And then if we if we triple the Lullabot somehow, I can't really play that. But in stacking this, if I live and then triple the Lullabot and then put it on the Faux Reaper, I'm easily in position to win. 
The field's waiting for you. Yeah, this should be a win. Oh my god. Never mind. We're in trouble. It can it can still be won, but it's a lot it's a lot closer now. Oh no. Well, I don't think I can die anymore. Yeah, I, I can't. No, I can't. I can't. We're good. We're good. Okay. 5% to die. Yeah, we we're in pretty good shape there. Game set and let's go. And match. not that important right now. You ought to fill out your team. Come on. Oh, that's pretty that's pretty sick actually. We are gonna do a little intermission here it Good seems. Pick. Oh I actually really like those. I have to sell two cards. And a freeze there. Those are just really good. Because uh, I get three gold here, two gold here. I get to redo a hero power after I use it. And that's probably the last time I'll be using it. This is just another three gold. But this will give me a monkey. That I'll probably end up buying. Well, it's a mech player. So I really should be playing the fighter here. I think a medal is in your future. We'll have, again, pretty decent scaling. Quite unfortunate, damn. If I attack first, he's just like automatically losing there. I mean, I think I still got him. Yeah. If I attack first there, it's completely over. Zero. Okay, so we gotta sell that. Permanent spellcraft's pretty juicy. Ooh, I shouldn't have done that. I lost the roll. Okay, let me let me just dump this hand real quick. Uh, that really doesn't matter that much. Probably not gonna matter. That's probably not gonna matter. Okay, let's roll. You ought to fill out your team. Uh, yeah, we can do stealth. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. That one plays well. Make sure okay. to recruit some champions. You ought to fill uh, out your team. Yeah, that's good. I think I'll buy that. Make sure to recruit and I cannot champions. get the card. Okay. That's potentially really good. Not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. By faith or fortune. That one plays well. If it ain't broke, still fix it! You're a star athlete, friend.
<laughs> oh. Fuck. Oh, there's the Nixia guy again. Man, I really want to kill him. Uh, I think I do kill him. See ya! The six drops got stealth because I stealthed in the tavern before I magnetized. It's a pretty powerful uh, <laughs> hero power with this. I can't believe I haven't gotten a lullaby since like turn three. Like, it's it's like unimaginable at this point. Really worth divine. Yeah, whatever. If you magnetize stealth from spellcraft, it's permanent. Well, with this hero power, yes. But if you magnetize taunt from spellcraft, it removes the taunt minion. Well, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't work exactly as it should. But the stealth works. Yeah, I've done this before. I've been keeping score. You are good. No, no, with taunt it's bugged. If you if you give something taunt, even with this hero power, it doesn't work. I mean, it still gets the stats, but the taunt working is like 40. And the crowd goes wild. If it ain't broke, still fix it. All right. Recruit some champions. Oh boy, wasn't that fun. Replacing well, I probably champions. won't have space for that. That is a really good card. For that one, safety restrictions engaged. Yeah, I can't get a lullabot. I can't get a lullabot. I can't get a Drakari Enchanter. I can't get another beatboxer. I, I don't know what game I'm playing right now, but you know how it's like like demons are OP, and then like seven people are playing demons, and all seven people have demon builds. I don't know how they do it. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense to me. It's like two people playing mechs this game, and uh, I can't get a, a Tavern 2 card. I've probably rolled like 200 gold since since I got two of these. Once I triple it, it'll be glorious. Right, once I triple it, yeah. You're today's top scorer. Like buying that every round against me, I guess. Wait, it rezzed? Oh no, it had 37, okay.
This guy's beating the other players. I've had over 20 gold to roll like five or six turns now. My 200 gold estimate, I think, is actually around probably within like 10 or 20 percent. No, I have rolled an insane amount this game. We're not talking about like 10, 10 gold rounds here. Wow, a veteran athlete. I mean, yeah, I guess that one's decent. Still, I still really want the other one, though. Fine, I'll, I'll put it into that one. There, we can give it stealth also. Oh, that's a mistake. That one plays well. There's a golden trophy waiting for you. There, that's what we were waiting for. Um, Max, huh? Yeah, don't really want another taunt. Actually, the Scallywag's kind of good, because he's going to cleave it. It's going to ping his Divine Shield. The night falls. I think a battle is in your future. Everyone is getting that every time against me. They're hard buying it. Boom! See ya. Another clickbait VOD with title, How to Find Lullabot. Yeah, just spend 200 gold to find it, and then you'll find it, probably. Right at the very end, though. <laughs> or not kill them, I guess. I could not kill them. Yeah, perhaps. Just spend gold easy. 